awesomeness to you. Thank you for finding yourself here on Wellness Hero Channel. I am BW and we have a massive update today on November 20th, 2019 on the federal level in the United States regarding cannabis prohibition. And I'm going to have some links to a few of these articles in the description box below, so check that out. And I'm going to play a video for us to give us a little inform more information on really what happened. But most importantly, we are talking about cannabis. We're on a centralized platform called YouTube or ThemTube. Let's go ahead and hit like. That's so vital to the controlled algorithms. Nothing naturally goes viral anymore, and I certainly don't expect any type of content that I'm putting out because I'm really just putting this out as a resource so you can do your own research. Read these articles, figure out more about the more, M-O-R-E, and that has to deal with uh, this committee that approved to pass it on for further uh, legislative action. And this, we're really just in the infant stages. So I really uh, want you to do your due diligence as a citizen if you are in the United States and you want to find out a lot more information. Normal's blog, Normal is an organization for reforming marijuana laws. They have some good information on their blog about this um, video I'm getting ready to show you here on Twitter. So Twitter is another one of those centralized platforms. So, you know, do your heart and liking and all that good stuff there as well. But um, the way we stay informed, the way we stay is by sharing this vital information. So this happened today, November 20th. And let's watch. Individual Americans, 47 states recognize that this is a personal right of Americans and that medical science has indicated uh, the limited impact. Long believed that the criminalization of marijuana has been a mistake. And the racially disparate enforcement of marijuana laws has only comp compounded this mistake with serious consequences, particularly for minority communities. Our federal drug enforcement people need to be working on meth and crack, and heroin, serious drugs that do cause people to get addicted, to lose their lives, and to steal to get the money to buy their drugs, and not to be dealing with marijuana, which the only thing they get out of that is they get to claim some of the person who's selling its assets and then feed their own empire. <laughs> that we're digging out of for many of our individuals in our communities. And that is what the MORE Act is about. It is um, our, uh, our work to decriminalize cannabis and empower states to make their own policies. And it's about taking that important step forward to undo some of the devastating impacts of the war on drugs, particularly for young people of color. Colleagues have said that we shouldn't be rushing in. I think from the standpoint of the vast majority of people in America, we're hardly rushing in. We're really decades late uh, at this point. Uh, there are 600,000 marijuana arrests every year. Millions of people's lives have been affected by marijuana prohibition, which has proven to be a disaster at every level. So there we have it. That's uh, some interesting uh, movement that took place today on November 20th, 2019. Again, I'm VW. You know, I put this out so you can do your due diligence. I am a combat veteran of the military industrial complex. I'm very proud of my service then and, you know, serving now to bring forth this sacred plant and 
The truth of the matter is I have a serious chronic condition. It requires um, high doses of cannabis. And I live in New York State. New York State is the Empire State. The Empire was not the good guys in Star Wars. And the Empire State does not have a medical cannabis program. They say they have one, but it's not clear. It's not transparent. Certainly not cost effective. Cannabis patients are not allowed to grow even one plant. And most importantly, it is, um, it's not providing medicine. There's no smokable flowers. There's no edibles. And I could go on. I've made a list of videos about that. But the bottom line is this. We as citizens, we as patients, I have understood dosages, ratios, strands, and cultivars. Having to do this without permission from the state. I don't want to see what has happened with legalization in lots of other states. And it's crazy. It's so crazy right now. So thank you for watching. Hit that like and thumbs up. I started getting a little emotional and putting a little heart-centered action into there. So let's go ahead and leave a comment below. I would love to hear about your story. What state are you in? Where's your level of relationship with the cannabis, the sacred plant? And as always, let's go ahead and share because we know that's caring. But most importantly, take care of yourself. And one of the ways we can do that is by staying hydrated. So stay hydrated. Put a smile on your face. Live enthusiastically. And as always, be a subscriber here. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, cannabis national legalization has taken one inch forward. Check the description box below.